What is up? What is up everyone? We're down here at the field. This is my local rugby union training field. My rugby league training field is over that way. But today is a Saturday and of course games are going on so I've just sneakily come down here in the morning and I'm going to make part three of my rugby skills tutorial video series. So I actually started this series about three years ago man. Long, long time ago. This was my first ever YouTube video. It was a rugby skills tutorial one. And, um, you know, I've come a long way since then. Physically, mentally, emotionally. You know, I've got over 200 videos on YouTube now. I'm proud of what I've achieved, what I've, what I've made. But um, I think it's about time to go back to my, back to my roots. Back to, my, back to what I know best, you know, which is rugby. Um, coming from New Zealand, I love it. I've grown up with it. Uh, I still play it and I want to teach young kids coming up basic skills to improve your game and um, just like it did me. So one thing you want to get down early on is, is how to pass the ball. You know, The last thing you want to do is make a break and be thinking, you know, thinking about, oh shit, am I going to be able to pass the ball? You don't want to be thinking about that. You, you just want it to be automatic. You want to be able to you know, spy a gap or spy a, pl a player coming up on either side of you and just be able to spin it as fast as possible. You don't want to have to think about it because otherwise that's going to affect your running game and you're not going to run as effectively. Personally, I love to run with the ball, so being able to pass the ball is, is certainly a skill that you need early on and um, it's just going to come through practice, man. But today I'm just going to run you through a few simple, simple steps that, that help me uh, in my quest to become a better rugby player. So, effectively, there's two there's two main passes in the game of rugby. Rugby union, rugby league, touch rugby, they're all effectively the same. The size of the ball is slightly different. A rugby union ball is, is bigger. Um, so I'd, I'd actually say a rugby league ball would be easier to pass. This is quite thick, but the fundamentals are the same. As I said, you've got two main passes. One is a spiral pass, which you'll, you'll see in most rugby games, and one is an end over end pass. So the ball travels like that. Now, people like Justin, no, not Justin, um, Jonathan Thurston makes a pass like that quite popular because that's, that's the pass that he chooses to, to use. Um, I've seen people use it to pass effectively off their weak hand. If they can only spiral it one way, they'll use that way to, to still pass it effectively but on their weak hand. So um, you will see an end over end pass more so in rugby league than rugby union. I don't really know why. Um, I think maybe it's it's just that they want to reduce the risk of dropping the ball when you try and try and grab it. Obviously, a fucking bullet pass spinning is going to be, you know, challenging to catch. But in the professional leagues, they catch it every time because they're good enough. So now, let's say you're a scrum half. You're wanting to improve your pass off the back of a scrum. So you're going to be something like this, you're going to be, you know, in it like this, and you want to really, really get that bullet pass, you know, to your first five. So it's going to all come from this outside leg. You're going to really want to plant it before you pick up the ball, pick it up from down here, and power like that. So all of this space between these legs you're going to use to power the ball. Now, that goes, if you're going to pass it backwards, pass it left, anything off the base of the scrum, base of the ruck, you're going to really want to use that outside foot as your power. In saying that, when you're running with the ball, it's actually going to be the opposite leg, or, you know, that's usually how it works out, so the way that's going to work is, you're, um, the way you place your body weight when you're running, and also on that final step when you actually pass the ball, is going to be so 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 crucial to the way your pass comes out of your hands so if I'm running you know and I'm, I'm getting ready to pass it's that it's the outside foot so I'm passing if I'm passing right my, my last step the step that I take when I'm going to be releasing the ball is going to be with my left foot if I'm passing to the left the step that I take before I release the ball is going to be my right foot so effectively this is what it's going to look like So what I did is I went step, 
pass like that. So you're really using that step to, to bring yourself back round and be able to pass it backwards. Because obviously in the game of rugby, you can only pass it backwards. So same goes for the right, or oh, sorry, for passing to the left. We're gonna run up like this. And then just before I go and pass it, all of, you know, just all of the power that's, that you're going to be passing with is coming from across this upper body. So you want to use all of it. You really want to bring the ball back and then power across. You know, so like I was saying, this is an example of passing to the left, We're running up. Our last step is going to be with our outside foot. So, and like that. Um, first of all, if you can't pass at all, man, if this is like really, really beginner stuff for you, um, I'd say just, just practice, just practice passing up and down with your friend, you know, each of you run, run alongside each other and practice passing each way. You take one, you take one turn on that side, then one turn on that side. Eventually you'll get it, man. And you know, if you can be sprinting and, and pass the ball without even thinking about it, Wow, you know, both ways, fuck mate, your, your game will open up. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it man, you know, the spiral pass, you've got the end over end pass, uh, hand placement like that for your spiral, going that way, going that way, and then you've just got your basic hand placement, nothing, nothing different either way, you've got both hands on the bottom of the ball, really, really tight, you don't want to let go of the ball, and you know, you're passing either way, using all that power over the top, plus planting that outside foot, and then you pass it. So here's an example, you know, don't hate me if I fuck it up, <laughs> we're only human, but uh, I'll, yeah, I'll try and get the whole pass in it, so. So that's, that's right. And that's left. So pretty much the same for the end over end. Passing to the right, all the power across the top here. Shoulders, triceps, chest, everything engaged. Really getting that power in the core as well. And it goes like this. And then for the left as well. Like that. So that's how to pass the rugby ball guys. As I said, I just hope you get something out of this. Uh, I'm not perfect, but obviously being able to pass a rugby ball without even thinking about it, as I said at the start, is really, really, really effective in the game. So, good luck. I've actually been, <laughs> I've done so many takes, it's not even funny, that's why I'm fucking puffed. But uh, train hard, guys. Go have a killer of a game, go have a cracker, score some tries. And, um, mate, there's no feeling like it, is there? Crossing that trail line after an awesome run. It's amazing. It's making me fucking smile right now thinking about it. So, all you guys out there, have a great day. Kill it.